In this tutorial, we will learn how to use Zap Test Recorder. Zap Test Recorder allows for recording video scenarios of end user actions on the application under test and can be used by subject matter experts to collaborate with test automation specialists. The recorder provides a new way of creating automated scripts. Subject matter experts can record the entire script scenario and transfer the recorded material to the automation specialist, who will easily process this recorded scenario and create an automated script. That's it! Now, engineers can execute this script on a real application. Compared to the traditional ways of creating test automation scripts by using textual test documentation or manual test cases, a recorded scenario can show the entire script scenario logic for future automated script. Let's see how easy it is to work with the ZapTest Recorder. Click on the Scenario tab. At the bottom, ZapTest automatically opens the Recorder tab. Here you will see a few buttons. The main button is the Record screen, which will start recording the recording process, and the gear at the right will open the Scenario Recorder settings. We can set a few things here. The first property is Frame Rate. This is the amount of frames per second which ZapTest captures from the screen. We recommend that you use 3 frames per second, but if the application is very dynamic, you should increase this parameter. Audio Source is a list of our audio devices. Here, we can select our audio device or even disable sound recording. The Always on Top and Minimize on Record buttons set the behavior of the recording toolbar. Another option is the Map to Window button. It maps all recorded views and applications to one single application. This way, ZapTest will generate only a single ZapTest application object. This can be very useful when we have a lot of windows in our tested application. Now it's time to start our recording. Click on the Record button. ZapTest will show the toolbar and start the recording. Using this toolbar, we can capture the current screen by clicking on the first button, and ZapTest will create a special view for that. The second one is the Stop Recording button, which stops the recording process. We will record a simple login dialog on the forum page of our portal. After clicking on the Stop button, ZapTest will switch the recorder and scenario tabs into a player mode. Using the recorded video scenario, the test automation specialist can review the test procedures and listen to the narration in order to understand precisely how to automate. Let's review the main user interface. There are two panels. The top panel is the Views panel. Contains each view ZapTest converts to a repository object. Our goal is to collect all necessary views that we are going to use in our script. We can also remove unused views from this list. The second panel is at the bottom. This is the player where we can replay recorded scenario and create a view from any recorded frame. The player toolbar has the following buttons. The main button is the Play Pause button. This button starts and stops playing the recorded scenario. We also have a special slider, which we can use for setting the scenario position. The Next and Previous Frame buttons move the player to the next or previous frame, allowing us to set the frame exactly as we need it. When we get the right frame, we can use the Create View button for adding new views to our view list. Let's create a new view for the main portal page. Now we have two views, which we will later convert to our repository. The last button is full screen mode. This mode can help us to see the small recorded details. After we are done with creating views, we will click on the Generate button and ZapTest will generate repository objects from the scenario views. Now, it's time to create our automated script. Please check out our other tutorials.
which cover the whole process of creating the script. We can also remove the recorded scenario from ZapTest by clicking on the Remove button. It will reduce the final size of the ZapTest module. Thank you for using ZapTest.